You know, many of our seminars we'll do, we'll have a question and answer time at the end. And you get a lot of interesting questions. Uh, one of the ones that comes up the most is how do you cover tough subjects and tough topics? Everything from abuse, you know, uh, sexual things. How do you handle that? And I usually give one generic answer before I speak. I said, the Bible says that truth sets you free. What you've got to understand as a parent, I don't care what your child's going through, just brought up, just experienced, you do not overreact. You've got to stay calm. You do not overreact. You just sit there and just kind of poker face it. You speak softly, you know, soft answer turns away wrath, and you deal with it. So I mean, we've had six kids. We've been through things where, you know, kids are upset, and maybe nobody invited them to a party or something didn't happen. They thought the teacher had thought they lied about something and they didn't, or maybe they thought they'd cheated and they hadn't. They've been through things. Now I tell my kids, I'm going with the adult about 99.9% .9 of the time. Your job is to do what's right. If you get misaccused, and Paul talked about it, the Apostle Peter talked about it, you need to roll with it. You go the second mile, you go the extra way. Now, if you want to challenge somebody, you can do that one-on-one. -on -one. Matthew 18, 19 said, if you're offended about something, someone, you don't do it with an audience. You don't stand up in the classroom as a child and challenge a teacher. You do not challenge a coach on the, on the court or on the ball field. You do that one-on-one, -on -one, Matthew 18, 19. So I realized early, I'm just going to go over some basic rules because there's going to be some tough stuff come up. Somebody's going to be hanging out in the hallway sometime talking about something you have no business listening to. We got some triple X rated conversation going on, or somebody's got some stuff in their locker. Your job is to turn away, turn around and walk away. You don't get in a yelling match. What are you doing? How are you doing it? The Bible has real good examples throughout Proverbs how you handle evil and what you do with it. Well, number one, if something's going on, you got a lot of bad words coming out of the mouth. You want part of that? Well, Proverbs says turn around, get on down the hall, get to class. You don't have to start biting the devil or yelling or screaming. You just walk away. So other things are I tell them. There's going to be times in your life you're going to be falsely accused. You're going to be misused. You're going to be abused. Welcome to planet Earth. Jesus never sinned one time. But they tried to stone him to death. They tried to shove him off a cliff. They tried to kill him. What did he do so wrong? Nothing. Well, if it happened to Jesus, it's going to happen to you. There's going to be some tough situations. What you need every time something happens, you need some wise counsel. You need to go tell mom, tell dad, hey, this happened. What do I do about this? Hey, they said this. What do I do about this? You don't do anything by yourself. There's nothing new under the sun. There's nothing your children have ever gone through or gone through that's brand new. It's happened before. So I believe in starting old. Instead of reacting, I said, I'm going to teach you how to be very successful in school, in class, and life. You just listen to me. We're going to just spend some time in Proverbs a little every day, and you'll be ready to face the toughest situations that could ever come at you. God will work things out to your good. Amen.